I am making one of my favorite foods of all time, cheesy spetzel with fried onions and chives. It's creamy, it's a little funky from some Gruyere. It's basically macaroni and cheese, but with little chewy egg dumplings instead of pasta. I'm making my sauce first. I've got some onion cooking in butter. It smells amazing in here. A lot of pinch of salt, some black pepper, and a little bit of paprika for some smokiness. Ugh, that smells so good. I'll sprinkle in some flour so that I can get my roux going. Butter and flour are gonna help thicken up my sauce. I'll stir this around and just let it toast. I want that floury flavor to get out of here. This is how I start pretty much all of my macaroni and cheese sauces. I've got two and a half cups of whole milk here, and it's at room temperature, which is really gonna help the sauce come together and prevent it from breaking. So I'll do this in a few additions, and I wanna whisk continuously to ensure that I get the smoothest consistency. Okay, this is starting to really thicken. I've got eight ounces of shredded Gruyere, which is so strong and funky, and I love it so much. Gotta go to the fancy cheese section to get it, and it's worth it every time. I'll whisk this in gradually so that it melts down nice and smooth. Mm -mm. Okay, I'll whisk in some chopped chives for freshness. That is so cheesy and creamy. That's it for my cheese sauce. I'll just hold this over low heat while I make my spetzel. Spetzel are tiny, chewy egg dumplings that you eat like pasta. So you can shovel them into your mouth, which is one of the reasons why I love them so much. I've got my batter here, which is super simple. I just combine flour, ground nutmeg for warmth, a little salt and pepper together, then add in a few eggs and whole milk to make it extra rich and dense. Mix everything up and let it relax. Forming them is really cool. They do sell spetzel makers, but I hack it using a slotted spoon. I have a big pot of boiling salted water here. And all I do is take a spoonful of my mixture and then press it through with a stiff rubber spatula. And that creates these little strands that boil up into rustic dumplings that are just so lovable. I'm holding the spoon pretty close to the water because actually the steam from the water helps to kind of soften the batter. It makes it press through the holes more easily. It only takes a few minutes to cook. These are floating to the top. That's how I know they're ready. Look at these. Those are some nice chewy schwetzel babies. I'll transfer these directly to my cheese sauce and I'll keep on boiling my spätzle. I'll stir this all together. How long? It's looking thick and luxurious. Fried onions. A little crispy texture never hurt anybody. And my reserve chives. Oh yeah. A little black pepper. And here I go immediately. I want to find a big one. Holy heck, this honestly has it all. 